difficulties does not necessarily mean that Allah does not like you. No. Going through difficulties with contentment is such a great sign. When Allah loves you, He puts difficulty in your life. Yesterday I spoke about a brother, a friend of mine. He told me many years ago that I've never had the reason to call out to Allah. He's always given me absolutely everything. Until one day, something came crashing. And I realized it's the first time in my life, 25 years down the line, that I actually raised my hand and said, Ya Allah, I actually need you now. I told him, brother, that's a gift of Allah. He loves you so much that He did something to you so that you can get close to Him. When Allah loves you, He does something to bring you closer to Him. That's a sign of top love. MashaAllah. Allahu Akbar. Allah loves you. That's why you put difficulty in your life. This is why the hadith clearly says, Inna Allah idha ahabba abdan ibtalahu. When Allah loves someone, He tests them a bit more. So you have more tests. Brother, this is going wrong. That's going wrong. This is going wrong. Nothing is going wrong. It's Allah who wants you to turn to Him. Just continue making dua to Allah. Turn to Allah. People have problems. Listen, we have examinations, don't we? MashaAllah. Exam time, what do we do? Suddenly, when the Quran comes out, the Musallah comes out, MashaAllah. Everything, Allah, 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 you wrote the examination, what happens? Results come out. Age. Ah, guys, let's go clubbing, man. <laughs> we passed, we got a party, don't we? That is so tempting. But this is why the Quran says that when man is affected with difficulty, he calls out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we give man goodness, he turns away. He turns away to his sides. As though, subhanAllah, he was never affected by anything. And Allah says, when we test him, When we test him, when evil touches him, he makes the broadest of du'as. Oh, for hours on end, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, look at what has happened. Ya Allah, help me, help me, help me. And Allah says, hang on. Isn't it such a beautiful condition? You love me, you're worshipping me, your levels of sincerity are so high. What if I kept you like this all your life? Wouldn't you enter paradise automatically? SubhanAllah, look at what we've got in store. But we don't look at it that way. How do we look at it? Oh, is this a punishment? <laughs> I said, well, it's the love of Allah. You've got to look at it that way. So, as I say, mashallah, you know, we have uh, times, and there is a specific verse about examinations. We can translate it that way. When Allah says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, do they not see that we test them very strongly once or twice in the year? They still don't want to repent. They still don't want to take heed. Allahu Akbar. Aren't we tested once or twice in the year with big, big examinations? And then we still don't want to repent. We still don't want to take heed. What do we expect? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our doors. Allah through His mercy still grants us goodness even though sometimes we don't deserve it.